What's up guys, it's Five Star Cuts. As you can see from the video, this is a tutorial on how to do a burst fade. So you see me setting in my guideline. Notice how I set it. I don't necessarily set it like a mid fade. It's kind of like a drop fade. But it's right where the end of that C cup ends is where I set the initial guideline. Now I'm scooping up under the line I just created. Now you see me using my lever open, no guard on my clipper, flicking up about half an inch. And you'll see me going all the way around. Now we're using a one guard closed because essentially I know that I'm gonna have to move to my zero guard anyway. So I'm just kind of skipping that step. Now we're going up to that one guard open above the one guard close. Remember to keep the guidelines about half an inch apart from each other. Now I'm going in with that one and a half open. He said he kind of wants it dark at the top. So I'm gonna listen to his request. So you see it kind of um, helps out with the gradients. When you go from light to dark, it helps with a smooth transition. Now you see me closing the guard and opening as I go up to remove that line that I set with my trimmer. So you see me slowly going up opening the lever as I go up. Now I'm using that half guard or zero guard, halfway, half open, that's a sweet spot. You know, I'm blending in all them areas right there with the faint line, then I open up the lever the higher I go up and then you see me play around with the lever no guard yep, so I'm just playing with the guard and I'm using the two guard with the grain to knock some of his hair down he kind of likes his front lining to be dark so I'm gonna listen to his request I'm combing the hair down. I'm going to prep the skin with alcohol, wiping the skin. Spray them with some holding spray. Lock the line again. Use a blow dryer, cool air. Now we're going to start with our lineups. I start on the sides and use my size and C cups as a reference point when. Um, trying to create the hairline and this helps when people's vertical bars are uh, kind of tricky you start with those first so you have a reference point so you don't give anyone a crooked uh, front hairline or crooked lining I'm applying my enhancements you don't need to do this this is just upon request Notice how I'm not spraying too close. I'm spraying about five to six inches away from the skin. Now I'm using my hair fibers. This is kind of like a additional enhancements I use to make the cut last longer or make the enhancements last longer. Now I'm lining it back up again, making sure everything is nice and crispy, nice and even. Now we're using that straight razor. This helps everything uh, look more sharp, defined, you know, just makes the cut last longer, makes it look better. 
you know, it's just small little details that go a long way. Now I'm going back over and lining it up again. And I'm checking over my steps right here. You know, I see some faint lines that I gotta get out. You know, attention to detail, detail is key. Getting the hairs off his face, shaping him up, getting the mustache right. And here's the transformation. Crispy. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll be posting tutorials every week. See y'all.